fucking gay ass fucking bitty. Another fucking gay ass fucking captive fucking episode. Jesus Christ, man. Outskirts of a village. What are they saying in that village, dude? We didn't know if they were gonna kill us or they were gonna take us over. We're two poor and white rich people. Yeah, no shit, huh? Oh, you work to them. Infidels with the gall to act like you cared. Wow. The voice that's coming across that radio just rips through us. We recognize it as Al Gore's voice, Ali, who we had in eyes. <laughs> Ali betrayed us. Of course he did, because you're two white, rich motherfuckers in Yemen. No oh, shit. I don't see a difference. With the parents out of the picture, anything can happen to the kids. It's double indemnity. <laughs> He's an awesome person, very nice. His ways of teaching was unique, according to the Haji. Anonymous gang has kidnapped two foreigners. And they're saints, right? More people that are saints? I'm a saint. Every fucking episode I've watched so far, everybody's a saint. He was a loving person. She was a loving person. She gave me the shirt off their backs. Doesn't anything bad happen to bad people? I mean... I would say it's a lot of candy coating. Yeah, that was quite a bit. Johannesburg, South Africa, where all the white people live. I just returned from Syria. Set up a hospital there and how did the war zone. Set up a hospital in Syria. Oh, fuck me. Gift to the givers. Oh. Is that what it's called? Gift to the givers? Gift of the givers. Oh, man. And what does that represent? Charity. It's very hospitable. Yemen is hospital. That Arab people in Yemen have captured two South Africans. Okay. To the givers. Provide food and clean water. That's honorable. That's honorable. What would you call it? Oh, and he's also Muslim, too. Fuck Gene.
simple dreams to a normal life. You're Muslim. He got out. He got out of what? How did he get out? He got out of Yemen. Oh, he did, yeah. But he says he wants a normal life, but you're Muslim. Your religion is violence. Wow. He went back. Fucking guy went back. Wow. <laughs> Fucking A. Do you think those fucking hajis is going to fucking care? Tribes have a strong relationship to Al-Qaeda, even though they're not part of the organization. Bullshit. A business card. Does that guy look like he's got a cell phone? Gosh. Two, two months captive already in Yemen. Oh, wow. There was a couple of things that he identified we would need to survive emotionally, spiritually, physically. Emotionally, spiritually, physically. There are some things that um, we can't live without. And so we decided pen and paper was really important for both of us to, to journal. So, you going to say these fuckheads wrote a book and made another fucking three or four million dollars? Smell of rain, and of course, missing their children was torture. Torture chamber every after. You were just isolated. You were relatively being treated well, considering what they could be doing. Yeah, like cutting off your fucking heads. Or beating you. Or raping you. That's torture. Yer and Pinna did not know that their children were returned safely to South Africa a week after they were kidnapped. You're lucky. That's what happens when you're privileged. Yep. It was about a lapse of, of a week or ten days that there was no telegrams <coughs> coming in. And then suddenly one day, they were just elated. They were shouting, Allah Akbar. And they were very happy because an American had been kidnapped from Sana. Luke Saunders abducted September 2013. Yeah. Good chances you'll lose his fucking head. And this fucking white fucking trash Muslim storm fuck. Oh boy. But we never imagined that our, our faith would turn into a really bizarre way that it would. Someone tell me why that white trash, blue eyed, fucking Muslim, fucking Al Qaeda fuck is still alive? So he's in jail somewhere. He better be. He's unrepentant too. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. What a fucking douchebag. Uh, 